This episode brought to you by UnitedWeStandCoin.com. Check out their free coin offer. Here's a fact for you. Florida is reigniting debate after it rolled out Don't Tread on Me license plates earlier this month. Drivers in the Sunshine State can now order Don't Tread on Me license plates, complete with the yellow and black image of the Gadsden flag from the Revolutionary War. The new version of the Don't Tread on Me flag is the United We Stand Gold Challenge coin. It doubles as a gift-worthy collectible that'll last for generations. Try, review, and inspect the United We Stand coin with your own hands risk-free for 60 days simply by going to www.unitedwestandcoin.com or by just clicking the link in the description or pinned comment. It's free. Just cover the shipping. But this is time sensitive, so hurry. After entering your details, you'll receive your United We Stand coin to your doorstep in just a few short days. Before I show you this clip, I'm going to give you the disclaimer that ABC News should be giving before every show. The host of this show, George Stephanopoulos, is a longtime Democrat Party operative who has worked closely with the Clintons for decades. He went straight from being a Clinton administration official to being an ABC News anchor. Donna Brazil is also a Democrat Party operative who has worked closely with the Clintons and Obamas. Numbers that I looked at, George, was the president at 36 on uh, its approval rating, 21 points underwater that 74% of the people in the polls said the economy is bad and that the top, it's the top issue to 84% of the people. That's all bad news for the Democrats in that poll. And I'll tell you, I was talking to a family farmer this week. He said since Biden got into office, his diesel fuel costs are up 222% on his farm and his nitrogen costs are up 262%. That's not only bad for them and their ability to make money, but worse, it's going to hit us in supermarkets all over this country. This is hardly over. And that's what these numbers are telling. People are feeling that. Excellent. All great points made by Chris Christie right there, especially about food prices skyrocketing and rolling downhill to the consumer. Now we're going to see if the super serious news reporter guy is going to investigate the facts further to either confirm or deny the negative consequences of Democrat economic policy. Not a chance. And they're going to vote that way, and that's not good for the Democrats. Is there any argument that Democrats can make that will make inflation not the top issue on voters' minds as they go to the polls? Oh, my God. <laughs> Classic hard-hitting, holding truth to power, just the facts journalism right there. Of course not. Why would he do that? If they did that, it might lead to people not voting for Democrats which the media has now established would be a threat to democracy and the very existence of the earth. Instead, the multi-million dollar Democrat Party political propagandist is going to ask the other Democrat Party operative what kind of bullshit they can spew to distract from the inflation caused by said Democrats. I mean, look, I think Democrats understand that the stakes are high. This is a consequential midterm, and we know we have to defy history. That being said, look at the alternative. What are the Republicans uh, playing? to do to harm you to harm the economy wait 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 you catch that the democrat political propagandist said that republicans want to harm you but that's just totally normal not extreme at all rhetoric when a democrat does it who cares if a completely normal democrat feels justified in defending themselves from the harm being inflicted on them by republicans joe biden has really done a fabulous job i think in making sure that everyday americans can feel the 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 things that he's doing. Oh yeah, they can feel it all right. Prepare the long rubber glove. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my glove will go. Joe Biden has really done a fabulous job, I think, in making sure that everyday Americans can feel the, the the things that he's doing, whether it's lowering gas prices. Remember when gas prices went from $2.25 a gallon to over $5 a gallon under Biden? Which all of these people insisted that he had no control over. Only to now give him credit when it goes down slightly. Thanks in part to him emptying our strategic reserve, which I'm sure won't bite us in the ass ever. Instead of just incentivizing the reclamation of our own energy from our own land, which he promised to do the opposite of. Joe Biden 
Biden has really done a fabulous job, I think. Fabulous, she says. Sure, sure. But inflation is skyrocketing. Food prices have surged. U.S. debt has increased over 30 trillion. Bonds have dropped the most in over two decades. Mortgage rates are spiking. The Fed has no idea what it's doing and stocks might crash soon. But sure, everything's looking fabulous. There was, of course, no pushback from Stephanopoulos on any of this or a reminder that it was Biden's reckless spending and his war on oil that made our economic troubles even worse. It drives me nuts to think about how the Democrats and Joe Biden would be utter toast right now if it weren't for the subterfuge provided by the Democrat state media. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. And then leave a comment to let us all know what you think about this.